Welcome back to the show. Dane and I are here to split hairs again. Yes. One of our favorite things to do. Yeah. Have you ever tried to split a hair, Dana? Not lengthwise. Mm -hmm. I didn't, first thing that popped in my head was looking at animals stuff under a microscope when I was a vet tech and seeing how big actual hairs actually are. And that's sort of in my mind thinking, oh, that'd be cool to have something small enough to kind of get in there. Yeah. It's the closest I've come. But yeah, that that's a good segue into this idea of cognitive stimming versus processing. Like my mind yeah. went there and I wanted to kind of do that. Yeah. Splitting a yeah. hair. That that it's interesting that saying. People will say, well, that's splitting hairs. Usually you hear that that word mm -hmm. in a dismissive way. <clears throat> we split hair is more like what the word you used in the last episode, which was a nuance. Mm -hmm. And I do think talking about nuance is so important because it, it really lets people see their lived experience and it's not exactly the same for everybody, right? Mm -hmm. So something like cognitive stimming, I think of as like singing something in my head or counting or visualizing something in even numbers or whatever. It's a ver it's, and it's repetitive, right? It's a version of stimming instead of hand flapping, I'm doing it in my head. Yeah. Uh, cognitive processing that can kind of get mixed up with that is more like trying to cope with something that maybe feels undone or you didn't understand. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> I'm thinking about like, especially in my really uh, started in earnest in my early teens where, and maybe, you know, cause you're having more social interactions then <clears throat> probably had more people looking at me like, what the hell are you talking about? Or, I, or people tell me something bad. Right. And so I would replay what had happened in my head, like verbatim, like I'd say, I said this, and then they said that, and then I said this, and they said that, and I would do it over and over and over in my head. And that didn't feel like stimming to me. That felt like I was trying to work something out. Right. And yeah. And that evolved to a place of where I would have to do play the thing in my head X number of times, but it's just, and bear with me while I try to describe it. Cause it's, a, it's a, it's a lived experience of that. I'm not sure if everybody else is going to have where I would, in my mind's eye, or even in my body, I would feel myself looking at it on the left side of my body and then the right side of my body, mm. and then the right side of my body and then the left side of my body. And I was watching a, uh, just last week, a, um, not movie, what's the thing when it's a movie, but it's about real stuff? Documentary. Documentary. <laughs> on, on PBS about autism, which was actually fairly good. It had some stereotypes, but it was fairly good. And this one woman said, oh, I do this thing when I get to the theater where I have to do my knees a certain way. And the woman says, well, what do you mean? She says, I have to touch the left one and then the right one and then the right one and then the left one and then start on the right side and then the left twice. And I was like, oh my God, there it is. Someone else has done that. And that idea mm -hmm. of like repeating on the same side. So like one over here, two over here, one over here. So they're even, but you sort of go back and forth. And then you reverse it and do the first one over here and then two over here and then one over here. It's not an OCD thing. And it's never felt like that. It never felt like that. Even then it felt like a way of sort of wanting to process it in a way that my brain and my body weren't that itchy you describe with like an OCD sort of thing. And it would help, right? I would do that. And then I'd be like, all right, I have it like packaged. I've, I've run through it a bunch of times. I think I understand what happened, or if I didn't understand what happened, at least I had like a container on it. Felt like I was wrapping it up, so to speak, in my brain, in my cognitive brain. Um, and then I could move on. Now for me, it evolved to a place of doing some things with my breathing around that and holding my breath, which became problematic when I stood up in a restaurant one day and passed out, probably passed out, because I'd been sitting there for like 20 minutes, probably barely breathing. And I said, next thing I know, I'm on the floor, and this guy's shoe, I'm on the floor and I, I have the scar. Oh, to prove it. no. Yeah. And at the time, I remember thinking, because I had never told anybody about what I was doing internally. I didn't know what it was. I just thought of I was course. crazy. Of and I was course. like, oh, I got to stop doing that. And that that was like this marker of where I, I 
stop doing some of the breathing stuff with it because I passed out. I'm like, that's really bad. Um, but would do more of that sort of wrapping it up and then dealing with, again, dealing with a lot of other older stuff in therapy that sort of went away a little bit, but I'll still replay. Like if I have an interaction with someone at work that didn't feel right, I'll, I'll have to sort of close my eyes and imagine it. And did I miss something there? Did they give me a clue? And it is more about trying to pick up something maybe I missed now as a fully fledged brain. Um, and it's helpful, right? Maybe I missed something or I, I get caught in a loop of not being able to figure it out. And then maybe I say something to my wife, can I run something by you? This person said that, this is what I said, what do you think? And then, you know, she can sort of give me feedback of like, oh, I can totally see that. Or, oh, I wonder if they were coming from this place and I'll go, oh, okay, that's one I hadn't thought of. So if I, I know now if I get stuck and I can't move on, um, but it's a, it's a processing thing more than a stimming thing. So when you, sort of use those two words and delineate that it made a, that's that splitting hair, but it's really important splitting hair because they're two very different things. They're really, right. and like, the, I mean, this is what I, you know, this is and what by I the way, really enjoy. Yeah. Anytime after I got diagnosed, if I've doubted, I'm autistic. <laughs> tell stories like that. Every, like, oh, every, Jesus, every, so every episode we do, Dana goes, oh yeah. Actually yeah, bold, yeah, that. Okay, bold, bold that, bold that, di- oh, bold that, underline that. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. tell us, uh, uh, oh, you know, yeah, okay. um, oh, I know I, I feel like, I feel like I keep, um, I keep adding asterisks to my, <laughs> to mine, like neurotypical asterisks. I mean, with some Except isms. Yeah, it, 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 with yeah. that, yeah. oh, it would. Yeah. It's like I've, I'm probably at like eight asterisks. Maybe we can figure out like how many asterisks yeah. does it make to tip you into. I mean, whatever. Yeah, and my um, wife's like that, which is probably some of why yeah. we really get along so well. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. You know, stimming to me has always been about comfort. It's something yeah. that's soothing and comforting. And so um, there's a feel there. There's a felt sense of you know, when I'm counting or, you know, that idea of, and, and I don't do this. Like I, I don't stim. There are things that I, there are activities that I do that I really can get into and I can lose sense of time and stuff, but, um, but I don't, but I don't find myself stimming. So I, I, I feel like I'm talking about this just based on what I understand from the clients and the people in my life that I support and I'm yeah. with, sure. but it's like, there is a comforting piece to that, which is why you and, have, and I have always had the stance that if the stim is not harmful, right, it should not be stopped. Yeah, like I, um, I like putting my finger on either side of my veins here and making it fill up, yeah. and then just feel the bounciness of it. Yeah, it's not hurting anybody. I'm not cutting the blood supply no. off to my hand. Who cares? No, it's not, yeah. and it's not like it's not like disrupting your environment or like the task yeah. at hand or like. It doesn't like, matter. Uh, uh, like so. <laughs> Sorry, I couldn't adjust. So the you know what I'm saying? Like it's yes, yes. so. Yeah. But I do think that when I when I hear some of my clients with the cognitive, like the processing, they're mm-hmm. saying things over and over again. Yeah. And it's like so. I I just actually went and did a a school observation of this young man. I'm this sweet young man. He's like 18 Mm -hmm. in his class. And he's doing like the most ridiculous independent work packet that has nothing to do with anything. Okay. Welcome to the, uh, welcome (laughs) to the public school system. I don't know what to do with you. You're a different kind of learner. Let me just give you independent work to do with your one-on-one aid in the back of a classroom. Okay, sure. here we go. Yep, yep. Anyway, he hates academic work because uh, it's hard. Yeah. And he's being in it. He's needing to highlight it's U.S. history. So he's yeah. oh, highlighting God. it. And then there's a question. It's like, write two sentences about X, Y, and Z. Yeah. And he says, why two sentences? Why two sentences? Oh my God, why two sentences? Why two sentences? Why two sentences, right? And he's saying this over and over again. And I can see his aide like, uh, he has a really good aide. So his aide is just like, buddy, let's break it down. You got this. I'm going to help you with it. Like, we're good. Cool. But other people are like, knock it off. 
Stop it. This is a stim. Oh. This is a stim. This is a stim. And it's like, no, 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 no. Right when you said this it, when he's him. like, why too? I'm like, oh, he's trying right. to break down the task. Yeah. Oh, right. Damn. And he's like, and he's like, yeah. I don't want to do this. Like, right. Like it's kind of more of an emotional yeah. reaction. Like I'm frustrated. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm irritated. I don't want to do this. This is overwhelming for me. How am I going to do this? Right. Yeah. So he's saying that over and over again. And I do see even like the repetition of even movie scripting. And this is like a really interesting sure. one for me, Dana. Maybe yeah. you can like yeah. weigh in on oh, this. Oh, I love this one. <laughs> right? Like I have a lot of clients that will repeat movie scripts and not in the context of conversation. So I have many clients who I'll say something and they'll they'll give me a movie script about it. And then we'll both giggle okay. about it because I know where it's yeah. usually from. Because it, it sort of fits the situation. Yes, totally okay. fits the situation. Yeah. It's yeah. totally expanding it and jiving off of it and like it's yeah. funny and like right? here's a meme here's this there's this thing that fits the situation okay yeah right that's so that like I a... think is different that's like okay. a processing yeah. that's a connecting that's an elaborating yes. that's like a, yeah. a really yeah. creative ADHD kind of mind you yeah. know that's yeah. like you know going yeah. in these different directions yeah. but then I've got clients that will repeat scripts in their out mm -hmm. loud mm -hmm. of an episode or a part of an episode of a movie of a show that they like. Just for the sake of repeating it. Just for the sake of repeating it. So that may be stimming is what That's is what stimming. Yeah yeah, yeah. 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 Okay. yeah. Should we yeah. stop either one? Mm -hmm. I, I mean, it's so context dependent. I play the same song over and over. Like I have a favorite band and when they come out with a new album, I'm, you know, this band came out with this new album over a year ago and I'm still just listening to those nine songs. I would drive anybody else start grading mad, but yeah. they're in my headphones and I'm doing it when I'm working out. Who cares? Or in my car when no one else is sitting in there. It's Who not hurting anybody. Cares? And that does feel like stimming because it's, I'll get to a certain point in the song that like I've worked really hard to master. There's one part where she kind of riffs really fast and it took me such a long time to get the timing right and sing it along with her. And it felt so good the first time I got it all right. And now I can just do it. It, it just it feels so good. And it's, yeah. yeah, it's not a processing thing. That is stimming for sure, feels like to me, right? And I guess- Versus the, the, like when, when someone, it, 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 I'm bitching about one of my students a lot of times from uh, Devil Wears Prada, the Meryl Streep character. I know how much you love that movie. Why isn't anybody ready? I love that because it's like, it's it's content specific. And now I can do that as I'm grading and my wife will come in and she'll say, what? I'll say, why isn't anybody ready? And she knows, <laughs> she knows what it is, right? So it's context. It, it's more of like a processing. I'm borrowing that to communicate to the other person. This is how I'm feeling. Yeah. Those are two great examples to delineate the difference between the two. The irony is I too, just, you could probably do the same thing. You could do both of them with one thing. Do you know what I mean? I could yes. use that, why isn't anybody ready as an illustration and I could probably also stim on it. Yeah. And unless you know what's going on in the inner world, like your example with the little, with the little boy, why two sentences, why two sentences? Why the two sentences? The age can recognize right away the distress and I'm gonna help you break it down. Right. That, it's I like know this is it, a processing thing. Right. I have got to process a situation. I got to cope. Maybe it's even like a coping thing, like yeah, I'm coping yeah. with the situation. Right. Yeah. How about the let's let's add another let's split the hair another way, because, yeah. man, this hair is like uh, it's <laughs> Getting pretty not thin. it's not my current <laughs> hair because it is thinning. Let me tell you, age yeah. is not yeah. a friendly <laughs> it's like not a friendly thing. But and are we the cutting idea... it lengthwise or crosscut? Because oh, cross I'm uh, no, 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 lengthwise. lengthwise. That's the hard. Okay. Yeah, like let's make That's it the hard. Thing. Yeah, yeah, okay. Um, I'm gonna have to use my like pull out my like really good Japanese knife in order to do it. But Ooh, um, yeah. and I guess you know that's a good that's kind of a good analogy, right? Because yeah. we do need to use our training to really our do this, yeah. right? Our our tools, right? Which is. We have this difference between a STEM yeah. to processing, coping. How do I understand this? Right. Uh, to OCD. Yeah. Yeah. And how many yeah. times have we, I mean, we've done an episode on, is it stemming right. or is it OCD? That's right. That's right. Yep. Um, so, you know, we talk about OCD a lot 
here. And OCD always has that clear and present danger, threatening, yeah. persistent, intensive, distressing mm -hmm. quality. Yeah. Yeah. Which stimming yeah. doesn't. And just to throw a bomb into the mix to add more uh, yeah. complex trauma. And it was, as yeah. you were talking, I was thinking of uh, uh, self injuring, you know, that can that can come in and eke in there in weird ways if you've got someone that has a trauma background and that's the way you're trying to process it or deal with the emotion and that you know that can be the way that particular person is coping right i would never as an expert in treating complex trauma tell someone you need to stop that behavior unless it was life-threatening if someone's like, I keep pounding my thigh to where it's bruising, I'm not going to say just, you need to stop while we're working on this. We're going to talk about it. We're going to put it front and center. We're going to figure out what's going on there. But if they're literally cutting near an artery, I might say, yep, we need to have it be something else right now. So there's all yep. these other things that can sort of trickle in depending on the person, which yep. makes splitting hair so important. And you're right. It's like what we do. Right. We, we get do. in there and want to know where, which part of the hair is the cuticle and which part of the hair is the middle of the shaft and which part of the, you yeah. know, it's important to delineate those. Why? Because you deal with them totally differently. And you even said yep. with that example that the behaviorist is a great, he's a great, he gets it versus, mm -hmm. or she gets it versus someone who didn't, who would it just be like, you need to stop repeating that. You need to knock it off. Sentences. Stop it. Yeah. Just stop yeah. it. Stop it. It's right. just, two, it's just two sentences. It's just two sentences. Yep. Yep. Right. Um, which I see most of the time. Yeah, yeah. That's what I see most of the time. I don't, I don't see what I saw this last time, which was someone who was just like, you got this buddy. Yeah. I know this isn't yeah. your favorite thing to do. Yeah. Right. But throughout that whole thing, I just got to see like, wow, his mm. repetition is really yeah. him like coping and processing this situation, oh, you yeah. know? Um, like why and, two sentences? And, and, why, why does the book why? want me to do this? Who's making me do this? What does it mean to do two sentences? Sentences, what do you mean by sentences? I could see his right. little brain going through all that. Like, what is that? It's He's trying to sort out what the task is while being overwhelmed at the same time. Yes, totally and then right before me. that, his highlighter mm -hmm. broke. Oh, I was thinking I could imagine him highlighting everything too. Is that right? I mean, right. Yeah. Because oh. can you imagine? I mean, how many neurodivergent peeps and folks oh yeah. Just are like, it. you want me to pick the salient feature? <laughs> <laughs> I talk about this all the time. It's like, that's why I like textbooks because they have headings. You are about to read a paragraph about Diet Coke. And the next paragraph is about microphones. Because if it's just text and I don't know oh. what's coming, forget it. By the way, this is where I think AI is very helpful for oh, people. Yes, yes. Is it, you can put that text in AI and you can have yes. it summarize it for you yes. or pick out yeah. the big points. You can still read the paragraph yeah. and you can still have something help you with that. So that's been yeah, really Our disability great. support services department is excited about AI because it's really yeah. helpful for, yeah, totally. Yeah. yeah. Um, I think, I think again, that's very nuanced as well. Like yeah, yeah, how do you use yeah. AI as a tool, not to right. replace your work, but as right. a tool to enhance your work and right. understanding. I think, yeah, you know, if that's I had different. that at that little guy's age, yeah. Oh, I'm supposed to pick out like the major point of this. And that would be like the header. If I was looking at it, Oh, no one actually comes out and tells you that they just, no, expect I you know. To know, right. Two sentences. I know. Like, what are you talking about? Yeah. 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 So the highlighter, his highlighter broke. And it's so funny. Dana calls him a little guy. He's 18. And, oh. um, <laughs> and, and, okay. And he says, oh, damn it. Damn it. Because his highlighter broke. Oh, no. Yeah. Damn it. Oh. Da he's just, just repeating this over and over again to yeah. which his lovely aide says, what happened? Mm. It's broken. And like, oh. we have someone that's not asking for help, right? We're just kind of stuck here repeating what's yeah. happening. Yeah. And the, and the, and his, his aide goes, oh, your highlighter is broken. Like, mm -hmm. let's fix it. Yeah. Here's an, here, yeah. let's get a different one. Yeah. Right. But now it's a different color. Cause you know, the, the yellow one's now oh. broken. So now, yeah. you know, here we go. It's just a setup to which I'm like, 
this is is this be, task actually yeah. necessary? <laughs> <laughs> I'm actually at the point of like, have we audited educational activities for meaningfulness, functionality, yeah. Yeah. and like an actual connection to what we might be doing in the real yeah. world after we leave the setting? Yeah. I get to have that luxury of, you know, of looking at that. But, yeah. you know, he's not getting a diploma. It's like, no, why is he and doing why in that, this? Why would anybody right. have more than one highlighter color? That just stresses <laughs> me out. Okay, by the way, I'm talking about curriculum content and educating our youth. Dana is still stuck on the fact that there is more than oh, he was is. using hey, one, oh one God, highlighter you color. Switch highlighter color in the middle of this. There is no well, there was way. a there was just a pack of different highlighter colors, and when one oh, color broke, now Dana, I know why he was like, "Why well, two three. sentences?" And then, oh no, oh no, I totally get it. I totally. <laughs> and get by it. the way, yeah. why did the one highlighter color break? Is it because it's the only color that he uses? Right? I'm sure. Why is this poor kid an entire pack of yellow highlighters? <laughs> uh, the I stopped using highlighters when I realized if they're not stored just the right way, they dry oh. out too fast. I'm like, I got, I got, I got a highlighter habit, and I gotta break it because it's too unpredictable. I, I don't, don't even know anymore. what we started talking about <laughs> because. <laughs> The splitting hairs between stimming and processing. <laughs> and clearly something broke in that poor kid. Uh, and I get it, right? But it's such a great example of how the system would come down and just yeah. be like, what is, you know, pathology, pathology, yeah. pathology. Versus yeah. something as simple as let's make sure this guy has a bunch of the same color highlighter. That's, it sounds it's like, like it's so easy. Yeah. You know, and I feel like it's just like human effing yeah decency yeah. yeah as a at some point fledged, in time uh, yeah i would be able to have i wouldn't like it i wouldn't say anything i'm crying because i'm laughing so hard um, oh my god it's so ridiculous you don't have to say anything to somebody it'd be this private struggle like oh god different color but when you're that age and you haven't learned all of those you don't have oh, enough just, resources out there no right no, not at all. right not at all. and and by the way i don't know when we thought that emotional regulation mm -hmm. and distress tolerance magically comes into our bodies and our minds yeah. Yeah. at some point of magical time okay. because the fairies and the sparkles and the sprinkles <laughs> and the bunnies aligned. It's like, guys, we got to learn this as a skill. This is yes. a skill. If we don't teach the skill, how do we expect people to use the skill? Yeah. And when yeah. we don't teach these skills in schools, yeah. we have yeah. drastic things also happen. So anywho, yeah. we don't need yeah. to get into that, but um, we're these are taught skills. Well, that's so when just you the don't thing. teach so, people yeah, these a, skills. A neural brain is going to pick that up on its own, you could say. Yeah. But if you, ha and if maybe you have not. a brain that isn't, or maybe not, but if you have a yeah. brain that isn't, I mean, for God's sakes, yeah, like you said, unless you teach it, how are you going to know? Got to teach it. Yeah. yeah. Got to teach it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, I mean, maybe we can have you guys weigh in on this, which is mm -hmm. like, can you tell the difference? Like, it, like what are your thoughts yeah. about this? You know, is yeah. there a difference between cognitive, what Dana called cognitive stimming, which mm -hmm. is great, mm -hmm. right? Processing. Yeah. Right, I've got to process this, understand this, deal with this, yeah. do something yeah. with it, and OCD, yeah. something more kind of yeah. compulsive, yeah. right? Yeah. Do yeah. you guys see those differences or experience those differences? That would be really cool to understand because, yeah. you know, yeah. what what are Dana and I missing? Like we're probably, we might maybe we're missing something else. Yeah, I mean, like it's... to me, the breathing thing when I did finally pass out in that restaurant, the breathing oh, part Dana. felt obsessive that felt OCD ish. And, uh, and I was like, Oh, yeah. this is bad. I got to get rid of this. And so there were those all three components in that same behavior, but they, they didn't all start at once. They sort of layered slowly on each other and just looking at it, I can see all the different layers. Yeah. 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 All Long right, everyone. Story, don't hold your breath yeah. and then stand up fast. It's not a good idea. <laughs> By the way, it took Dana fainting to go, Oh crap. Yeah. This That's is bad. Okay. Yeah. That's bad. You know what I mean? So, yep, yep. um, 
All right, everyone. Well, be good to you, please. Like, yes. Yeah. You know, split um, hairs. Remember, That's a good way to split be good the to hairs. Yourself, so, yeah. Let them, yeah. Split the hair. That's going, uh, that's a shirt. Dana, what, what are, okay. what, what's our, so our, our hypothetical merch store looks like, cause we have a yeah. really yep. amazing hypothetical merch store, by the way, you guys, yep. uh, one is split the hairs. Hairs. How about one is Jomo, the joy Jomo. of missing out. Yep. Yep. And then your thing um, that you say to your husband and uh, the not sweating, the small stuff. Nanya. 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 I love that. Nanya business. Nanya. It's just Nanya yeah. on the front and the business on the back. Ooh, it's almost like, it's almost like a mullet. <laughs> I totally know what you're talking about. I totally know what you're talking about. A little the right party in the, the front, front, business in the back. The rest of it in the back, yeah. So we got Thought the Nunya, like we got we got the in your face, but we got the business yeah. on the back. Nunya business. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, it's brilliant. I love it. Okay. Thought moments. You can leave your comment yeah. below. Would you actually buy yep. anything from our <laughs> hypothetical merch store? Just wondering. <laughs> Let us know. All right. Bye, Be good everyone. to you, everyone. Bye. <laughs>